Okay, so I just showed you how to set it up uh, for a side pour flask. Now I'm going to show you another way to set this up. So we have the wax band that we carved yesterday. We're going to set that aside. And we're going to grab our same side of the flask and we're going to put it down. We've got this half round. We're going to slide that in like so. I like to hold it with my finger. So now we're going to pack this in really good. Push it down really good and then scrape it off. Clean off the edge. So now we're going to take the half round, we're going to lift it out of there. Just like before, we're going to clean off this edge here. We're going to take and telk this. Now we've got the band slid on about halfway. I like to line it up between these vents right here. And we're just going to push it down. And just like that. Get it all the way down there. Okay, next thing to do. Grab the other half. Make sure it goes down into place. We'll add a little bit more talc. Now there's a wax that's sticking up, so we want to be careful how we push it in. At this point, I wouldn't use something like this because you're going to break your wax. Now you can push it in. Okay. Then you're going to want to scrape it off. Set it down like that, pull it straight apart. Now we have the two halves here, a little different than the other one, but uh, it's a little different way to cast. So now we're going to take this one and we're going to set it aside. We're just going to clean off the edge here. I've got kind of a little paintbrush here. And you want to go, actually it helps, just put it straight down and then push straight through the center and then turn it on its side and push it out the back. Just like that. And then we can pull this back out. Now, we have a heavier rod here, and so we're going to take this heavy rod and we're going to push it through the center again. Turn it on its side, push it out the back, and pull it through. What you don't ever want to do is go in from this side and push that way, because it will create something like this on the side you don't want it to. You'll, you'll basically ruin it and you'll have to start over. So once we have that like that, we want to cut this and create a nice deep funnel.
You want this to be nice and smooth. Smooth at the top. Smooth down into the hole. You can take, pack it down with the end of your uh, paintbrush. You just don't want to have any sharp edges or any little pieces of clay that could go down into your into your mold when you cast. Then on this side, you're going to take this and the little edge here, you're going to round it. Just push it down so it's not a sharp edge anymore. You want the metal to flow down unobstructed. You don't want it hitting sharp edges. So this side is done. We're going to set that aside. We're going to grab this one. So what I do is I put my fingers on either side. You want to lift it straight out. Just like that. So this right now is not used anymore. It'll get set aside. So right now we have this right here. And so the next thing to do, and you may find that you don't need a vent, but it doesn't hurt, hurt to add maybe one right dead in the center. And you can do it with a very fine wire like this. And when you turn this over, you want to take and you want to cut this down in kind of a dome, like a concave back to it. So this is going to use a vacuum table. And all the vacuum is going to do is it's going to remove the gases in the air as the metal's poured. That one vent isn't going to be enough. And it's very hard to vent something like this. So we create by making this concave on the back, it's going to help direct the airflow so it sucks from the center. Just like that. And you may, in fact we could have added the vent at this point instead of earlier, but you can push that through again. And now you've got a nice hole running through there. So at this point, we're going to take, and we have this part here, and this part here fits exactly on the outside of this. So we'll set that aside, and then we have a different type of clay. In fact, it's probably more of a sand because it's not quite as, as compact. And that's going to get pushed into here. And we are going to create the core, which what we've actually done is we're creating what is on the inside of this. So we pack that in really good. And then we have a little piece of wooden dowel here, and that's used to push this through. Just like that. And you want to make sure that this is clean all the way around, and it's going to sit right on there like that. Don't push it too hard, you'll squish it, but you just want to get it down to where it sits in there just right like that. And now we would take, make sure these are clean, and this will sit on top of here. You want to make sure that it's flush all the way around. There we go. And so now the metal will go in there, flow around the ring, have a little air hole on the bottom, 
And the only thing we'll do different with this, and I'm not going to do it right now, is we'll take the black electrician's tape, we'll put it around the seam, and we'll cover the hole before it's put on the vacuum table. And that will keep the air from being drawn in through the sides and make the air be drawn in through the center. So that's where we're at. That's how you do that. All right, thanks.